Good morning, and welcome to worship on this 16th Sunday after the day of Pentecost. We have much reason to celebrate today at both of our congregations of North Wasika Lutheran and Faith Lutheran in Janesville. This morning at Faith or at North Wasika Lutheran, we will be reopening um, for in-person worship, and we are very excited to once again be able to gather together inside of our church sanctuary. So we celebrate um, that big event today. Also over in Faith Lutheran in Janesville, we are celebrating with Matthew and Jolene Hauger um, as they celebrate the baptism of their son Owen during this morning's worship service. So congratulations to their family, and we are privileged and joyous to be able to celebrate with your family as Owen is born anew into God's kingdom. So welcome to our worship this morning, and let us begin with a word of confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who creates, redeems, and sustains us and all creation. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Faithful God, have mercy on us. We confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We turn from your loving embrace and go our own ways. We pass judgment on one another before examining ourselves. We place our own needs before those of our neighbors. We keep your gift of salvation to ourselves. Make us humble, cast away our transgressions, and turn us again to life in you, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God hears the cries of all who call out in need, and through his death and resurrection, Christ has made us his own. Hear the truth that God proclaims. Your sins are forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ. Led by the Holy Spirit, live in freedom and newness to do God's work in God's world. Amen. And now we invite you to join Melissa in singing our opening hymn, hymn number 854, Blessings and Honor.
of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of the day. Almighty and eternal God, you show perpetual loving kindness to us as your servants. Because we cannot rely on our own abilities, grant us your merciful judgment and train us to embody the gener generosity of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our reading from Scripture today is from the Gospel of Matthew, the 20th chapter, beginning with the first verse. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again at noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and saw others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am jealous? Because I am generous, excuse me. So the last will be first and the first will be last. Here ends the reading of the Gospel. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. It's not fair. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the first thought that came to your mind as you heard the Gospel lesson being read this morning. A parable where different workers labor different hours. And yet, when they come to be paid, discover that everyone's pay is equal, regardless of how long or how hard they have worked. It's not fair. It certainly doesn't seem fair, does it? Especially those who put in an entire day's work. And remember how it says in scripture, when they went to get their pay, they were expecting more. In short, they were expected to be recognized for their long workday and rewarded accordingly. It's not fair. It brings to mind something this pandemic has really taught us during these past several months. It's not fair. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it is that the most important essential workers people who are vital to help keep our communities surviving and moving forward. They're not the NFL, Major League Baseball, or NBA players who are paid millions. No, essential workers are not politicians or CEOs of companies who are making a huge profit during this national health crisis. No, our essential workers are far most often the people who are paid the least and those who are facing the greatest risk 
of exposure. Our grocery store workers, our gas station attendants, our nursing home caregivers, our public transportation drivers, those who are working on the line in our meatpacking plants, our daycare providers, and the staff in our schools. When this pandemic is over, I hope we will not forget them who have put in far too many long and dangerous work days. It's not fair. If we read today's gospel from the perspective of being rewarded for what we have earned, then it certainly isn't fair. But we would also be missing the point. Because the point of the parable is that God is loving and generous. And God's love and care is never something that has to be earned or rewarded. It is always freely given to all people because that is who God is. Thus, God's love is never about what we do at all. It is about being blessed by a generous God who freely gives us what we need each day. It is about a God who is generous not only to us, but also to others, thereby drawing us into a larger community of faith where all are welcome, all are cared for, and all encounter God's mercy and justice. And what good news that is indeed, for we live in a world where you are always judged by superficial things, your career, your economic status, your social status, your looks. But in God's kingdom, we are all the same. We are all God's beloved. We are all God's children. We are all blessed and sent by God to serve one another. Yes, it is fair. This parable is fair. God's love is infinitely fair. May we seek to live out that fairness and gracious blessing in our daily lives so that the world can come to know that fairness and love too. Thanks be to God. Amen. And now let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. At this time, I invite you to join me and let us unite our hearts in a word of prayer. Gracious and loving God, we are reminded anew that even when the world around us seems to be so unfair and unjust, that your love, there is fairness, there is mercy, there is grace, there is love, there is blessings, and there is justice. We ask that you would continue to strengthen us in your love so that we might seek fairness in our own world by how we live our daily lives. Give us strength, Lord, to show your love and your mercy so that we might be a blessing to your entire world. We ask, Lord, for the strength to continue to serve one another, especially in these difficult days. We know that you continue to call us forward, and you give us the strength, and you equip us to do what you have called us to do. And now we pray, Lord, today um, for the many blessings in our midst. Today we give you thanks and celebrate with North Wasika as we are able to return to in-person worship. Continue to bless us as we gather, whether online or in person. Continue to be present with us. We also celebrate with Faith Lutheran and especially the Hauger family 
as we celebrate with Owen uh, in the waters of his baptism as he is born into your kingdom, into your family of faith. Continue to bless Owen and all who are baptized. Strengthen and help us to grow in faith um, as you bless us. We also pray, Lord, for those in our midst who are in need of your continued healing. We pray for your healing for Pastor Nancy, for Pastor Al, for Police Officer Madsen, for Dieta, for Diane's sister Bonnie, for Mark, for Kathy, for Howard, for Death and Beth Dennis and Beth Ann on the death of Dennis's father. And we pray for Scott and Kathy on the death of Scott's brother. Continue, Lord, to strengthen us and bring us healing. For all these things, we give you our thanks and our praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. At this time in our service, we have the offering of our gifts and our tithes. Um, for those of you who are watching this online, you may send in your offerings at North Wasika. Please send to Gladys, who is our financial secretary, and her address is found printed in your worship bulletin. Um, the, at Faith Lutheran, if you are watching online, you may mail your tithe or offering into our church office. And thank you for your generous support of our shared ministry, a ministry we hold in common. And now let us continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we invite you to join Melissa as we sing our sending song, a wonderful hymn of faith, hymn number 733, Great is Thy Faithfulness. I just love the words to that chorus. Um, Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. And so we celebrate by singing our sending song. And following our song, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.